Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. I'm Jonathan Friedman, and our next guest in the studio is Idola Keller, owner of IK Images. Welcome to Radio Entrepreneurs. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. It's a pleasure to have you here. We've talked to many photographers, of which you are one. You've been a photographer for many years, and you have a different angle. Tell us about what it is that you do. Yes, yeah, so I do mainly headshot photography. Um, and people ask me, why just headshot photography? And it's just because I... I found myself in it and I love the one-on-one -on -one interaction and I love helping people with their professional image, which is very important nowadays. And I believe the first impressions are powerful and your headshot many times is your actual first impression because now people just are online all the time. And I, you know, if, if they told me about radio entrepreneurs, the first thing I would go is on Google and just searching for you guys and see if I have a picture of you. Right, so I can connect with you. And people that would scare you. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we're just like it's radio. <laughs> oh, you're okay. You're okay. Um, and people judge you, right? We judge people all the time. So when I, um, in in these nine years of photography that I've I've been doing it, I took a break when I had my son three years ago, and that's when I just regrouped myself and I thought about it. And then one day I was just like, oh my gosh, I never thought about headshots, professional headshots. And I have a career in HR, so as an HR person, you look for people online all the time. You know, when people apply for your company, you search for them. And then you want to make sure that you see their professional image on LinkedIn and all that stuff. So that's where I found myself, and that's when I was like, this is it. And then I started doing it, and I loved it, and I've been doing it since then. So tell us the range, and there must be so many different applications. You talked about social media, mm -hmm. so people are actually uh, using your services to post a great headshot for a oh, LinkedIn profile, absolutely, uh, etc. I don't know if people are using Facebook, but probably, probably um, yes. Instagram or whatever other, uh, other social media people want yeah. images of themselves. Yes. Um, what is the range of, uh, of types of things that people have asked you to do? And uh, I'm sure along the way there's been some wacky, but you don't have to share those. But right. yeah, what, are, what are people uh, coming to you and saying, can you do a headshot for? Anything out of the ordinary that, that it comes across or just tell us the gamut? Um, not so much, but I've had people that wanted to take a photo holding a pillow where they asked me to Photoshop a key because they were a real estate agent, mm. so they wanted to have that kind of photo for their profiles, and that's fine. I think that, um, I think what it's important for you, when, when a client comes to me and they ask me, you know, what should I wear, what should I do? I always tell them, what do you want people to think of you when they look at your picture? That's the message that you, you have to come across. And it, it has to be aligned, right? So if you post a very professional photo on LinkedIn, on your LinkedIn profile, then make sure that your Facebook kind of is aligned with that because when we search for people we search everywhere right if we can find you on Facebook then people are gonna actually look and dig through your profile that way mm -hmm. so I've never had like a crazy crazy thing yet because I think um, my my clients are very professional in that matter and um, that's good uh, but I, I'll make sure the next time I have one, I'll come back and I'll tell you, you guys. tell us all about it. <laughs> now, do you work for corporations as well? They have to do headshots for their publicity or for their yep. uh, websites, etc. Absolutely, and I, I do, I do. So I, my, all my equipment is portable, and if a company hires me, I'll go to them. You know, I, all I need is just the room with a nice roof and some space, and then I'll, I'll get that done. So people just come in and out, in and out, and it's pretty quick. So I've heard uh, different philosophies uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to headshots for, okay. say, a website. Uh, you tell me your 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 approach. Uh, okay. Everybody the same? Angle the same way? Looking the same? Or you Not mix it up all. some? Not at all. Not at all. I don't think so. I think um, first, I think that I have to take into consideration. You know, some people have a better side, so I always ask that. Um, and everybody as an individual, they are all different, right? So I think that, of course, there are certain ways. Usually women wants to look skinner or they wants to look taller or whatever. So you're a magician too. <laughs> well, we are, um, I once was called a, um, what is it, a unicorn, like a Photoshop unicorn person or something. The, the ability to magically yeah, just to, uh, yeah, just to yeah, transform somebody. Right. But I, I don't really like that, you know, because I think, so one of the things about headshots or photography in general, people are very scared of taking pictures. Like 90% of my clients that go to the studio, 
that you say something like, oh, I hate taking pictures. Oh, you know, I have this, I have that, I have my nose, I have my teeth, or whatever. And all I, I, I have to, to I, what I think about and what I tell them is, um, you know, you, if, if you didn't tell me this about your nose or whatever, I would have not noticed. It's, it's you paying too and much attention. Self, self-conscious. And, right. It's yeah. you paying too much attention to that. People don't see you that way. So it, not only as a photographer, I'm also kind of like a therapist because you have to work on this, you know, self-image and, and self-esteem and all that stuff. Well, it we, sounds like you wear a lot of hats, you know, not only a therapist do. and photographer, but a fashion consultant as well. Absolutely. And marketing professional. Yes, and because... Be, the whole package. Yes, because before the, the headshot session, I sent them a guideline, you know, saying, not saying what to wear, but saying, you know, this is what I think that would look good. This is what we have worked in the past. Or, you know, rest, drink a lot of water, take care of yourself, things like that. Uh, but it, it, it does. Photography, you know, the headshot piece... It's just like the, the starting point of your marketing, of your professional image, of, of you know, perception, reputation, everything. So it, it's just a starting point. Have you found um, in, in the time that you've been doing the headshots that a mm-hmm. particular professional group or, or, or career tends mm-hmm. to gravitate towards you? Or is there a niche? Um, you know, what comes to my mind when you say headshots of people in acting and stuff like that, because that's typically what they need. Yeah. But they're, is there any particular industry that you've seen a lot of activity from? You know, interesting enough, I've never had an actor. Hmm. They're all businesses, they're all corporations, business owners, CEOs, uh, real estate agents, attorneys. Uh, n- I've never done an actor. Hmm. Well, then, then maybe a market for you. <laughs> I did a position once, but that's it, you know. But I, I think because I'm in Framingham, we don't have much in this area. You know, probably Boston, it's a yep. lot more. Uh, but in Framingham, I get a lot of professionals and corporations. Yeah, so so that's that's that would be my my public right now. But I'd love to explore more, you know. And how much of uh, of what you do as a headshot photographer is is setting it up correctly and taking the photos versus post production? I mean, how much do you have to do to, to you know whether you're changing the angles or the lighting or, or is, right. that, is, is most of that happening during the shoot? Right, it's mostly happening during the shoot. I try to get it as much right as I can during the shoot, so the post-production is very easy to do. Um, but you know, because it's a headshot, it's just it's just really the face that you have to take care of in the hair. Mm-hmm. And I try to make it as natural as I can, but not so, you know, it's kind of a balance, right? Because right. I don't, I don't want to change that person totally and make that person beautiful. And then when they go see their clients, Later, the clients don't recognize them. That's right. not the goal, right? So we want people <laughs> to recognize. Yeah, like right. we want people to recognize. So you want it to be real. You want that Absolutely. balance of stage Absolutely. but real. Yeah. Right. So that I think that what I do is just to get the skin a little bit smooth, you know, and just fix one hair here and there. But I try to focus on the the position and the face and the expression. I think the goal is the expression. That's what I focus on mostly. And does that, d- does that vary depending on what sort of message and what sort of application? Um, absolutely, absolutely. But, you know, most people want to be approachable. They want to be professional. And they want to be um, a person that people would like to make business with. So. Excellent. So um, you, you were a uh, photographer. You did. Um, uh, so, so how did how did your revolution uh, come to this? How did you one day say, you know, headshots are where I want to be? Was it, was it by chance you took one and you loved it or, or was it uh, because you had been uh, doing yeah. photography for a while before you, you came to this? Yes, I did. I did photography for about eight, eight, seven, seven, eight years before this. And I did everything, you know, families from babies, I did weddings. Uh, But then I was trying to find, so when I had my son, I I tried to find, I I, I found that photography was taking a lot of my time. And I didn't want that. I wanted to have the family time. I want to have a balance, right? Because I also have a a full-time job. So I, I was looking at all the types of photography, commercial photography and all that stuff, and I found headshots. And then I started looking into it, and I noticed that, for you to do a headshot, it literally can take 20 minutes. And the post-production is about, you know, let's say five to 10 minutes, depending on what it is. I'm like, this is it, you know, this is, and then I tried one and I tried, you know, I got a couple of friends, hey, can you pose for me, can you do that? And and it, it did it right and I've, I've 
I posted online and people started looking for it. And then I went to a, a couple of networking events and people started look, you know, liking my work. And I also enjoyed that interaction and I loved it. And it's not easy, but it's, um, it's what I can offer right now. And I, I enjoyed it a lot. I like that one-on-one -on -one interaction. I, I care about learning about your business and learning about your family and you know and when I, I do the, the headshot session it's just like what we're doing right now it's a conversation right yeah. and I ask people you know in order for me to get the expressions that I want I talk to them and then when they give me the expression that I want then I click and then it's you know and then that's it, that's easy for them right so it's less of a stage type thing oh it's absolutely more of a getting getting the look and feel um, and so uh, capturing the moment like a, a photographer because yeah. if you if you if you start noticing people's headshots you can see in their eyes that they are scared. Or they're like, I hate this, I'm right. smiling, but my eyes tell me that I hate this, right? So that's not what I want. I, I Shoot for the relaxation. And right, natural. so, you know, I, I go like, hey, how your day going? You know, tell me a little bit more of your business. And people like light up when they talk about their business, right? Because right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, because yeah. they, they, they feel like they, they love it. And then I, and I usually ask, you know, what makes you happy? And they're like, what? Well, well, tell me what makes you happy. And they're like, uh, food and then they laugh and they're like click that's it you know so it's like a conversation sometimes I have to work on a pose and all that but because people hate being from the camera so much you have to take them out of there yeah. mentally in order for you to get what you want and then if I you know I usually get try to get that as little in 20 minutes so excellent our, our guest the radio entrepreneurs has been Idola Keller owner of IK images tell our listeners if they want to get in front in, in touch with you and have their headshots done what's the best way for them to reach you absolutely can they can reach me via phone if they're okay to talk so it's 508-397-3839 some people they are shy that can just want to book online and don't talk to me before that's okay they can go to my website it's www.idolakeller.com and I'm in Framingham on Union Ave. You can also stop by on 118 Union Ave, and I'm there. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, all, all types of options. We may have to have our new radio entrepreneurs headshots done, all our reporters. I'll be happy to work with you on that. I actually looked you guys up, just so, so you know, mm -hmm. right? Well, you have to talk to our photographer and see what he thinks. I like his headshot, <laughs> actually, on LinkedIn. I did look at it, and it's a very good one. Good stuff. Our, our guest has been Nita LaKeller, uh, owner of IK Images, and we'll be right back with another story on Radio Entrepreneurs.